For thousands of years, people thought comets were omens of doom, fiery messengers from the gods. But the truth about where they come from is even more incredible. So how do these icy visitors from the dawn of time actually work? First, forget everything you know about where comets come from. They don't come from outer space. They're leftovers from the birth of our solar system more than 4.6 billion years ago. Most hide in two distant regions. One is the Kuiper Belt, a collection of icy bodies just beyond Neptune's orbit. And the other is the mysterious Oort Cloud, a shell of icy bodies almost a light year away. Now, these are just the places we know about. There could be other, even more distant sources. Comets spend most of their time sleeping in the darkness of space, but every so often, gravity gives them a nudge in the right direction. As they approach the sun, the intense heat vaporizes their icy surface, releasing dust and gas. This creates a cloud around the comet, which we call the coma. And if conditions are right, this coma can stretch into a tail millions of kilometers long. Some comets are regular visitors. Halley's Comet, for example, swings by Earth every 76 years like cosmic clockwork. Others only appear once, making a grand entrance from the edge of the solar system and then vanishing forever into the void. Scientists are eager to study these icy wanderers because they are time capsules containing the original ice and dust from the formation of the solar system, unchanged for billions of years. Some even believe comets may have delivered water, or the very building blocks of life, to Earth. So the next time you see what looks like a shooting star streaking across the night sky, remember, it's not just a streak of light. It's a frozen traveler from the dawn of time, maybe even the spark that made life possible on our planet.